First of all, I'm really happy with my seniors. Uh, I thought uh, defensively we, we played with energy and fire. They scored 20 points in the first five minutes, and you know it's kind of a hangover what we talked about, and then they only scored 55 points the rest of the game. Shot a, shot 35 percent. That's what our defense needs to do. That, that's that's when we know uh, that we're pretty good. So um, I'll say that um, I'll address the technical foul. I, I don't get technical fouls. Uh, that was uh, that was addressed to one of my guys, and so. That's just a part of it. And rarely, rarely, rarely do I ever take off this nice jacket that I wear. And so um, I had this thing. I just got it from the cleaners this morning. It was nice and fixed. And so um, that was that. But really proud of my guys. Um, and, and I want to say this about my seniors and the culture of our program. And I just told our freshmen this, is that when you're in a class and three out of four years you win 20-plus games, three out of four years you go to postseason play, and then you graduate on time. That's the culture of the program. That's what the legacy our seniors set. And I told our freshmen that if you that's, that's the minimum that you have to do. So our seniors have set a high standard in this program, a high standard. And so I'm proud of those two guys. Uh, they were in our first, second, or third recruiting classes. And uh, just can't say enough about the, 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 the two seniors that I had in session and, uh, and Zeke. So any questions? Yeah, one of the hardest things is that, you know, and I – I remember my senior day. Mike said I can't talk about stats in my senior day or anything like that. But what happens is you, you're so pumped up. It's the last time you're going to play in that building. You probably didn't sleep last night. And you, usually one or two things happen. Either you play out your mind, like Zeke did early, or you have a bad game. There's really no in between. And so, you know, I always worry about that with seniors. And so that's why sometimes starting them, not starting them is kind of a uh, – but uh, at the end of the day, the one thing I told them, both of those guys, their first game at, at Georgia State, they won. And the last time they put the uniform on here, they won. And that's what we're about. We're about winning here. And so that's a culture. And that's what those guys have, have set down to our freshmen. So um, they're happy because we know we know we needed this win. That's, you know, we were in second. We were seated second regardless. But we needed this to get our confidence going defensively. Not about the game. Just get our defensive swagger back a little bit. Outside of this being senior day, um, what do you think was, I guess, the biggest difference uh, with Isaiah Williams play today? I, again, I think that's part of it. I think, he, you know, he, you know, both seniors, they don't sleep. And so you're in your mind, how does this play out today? You know, and so, uh, you know, with Zeke, I thought he saw the ball go in early. And that helps. You can relax. And now all of a sudden, for, especially for a guy that's a shooter, he saw it go in and it really helped him. Uh, I think that uh, Sesh got off to – he got a foul. So some bad things happened and it just snowballed and continued to, to – it, it became a, a struggle. And even with Sesh, their, their inside, their second best player doesn't play. And I think he may relax a little bit knowing he wasn't going against, you know, Ajayi is an all-conference guy. And I think, you know, what happened, oh, I can relax a little bit. And, but, uh, you know, Sessions had a great year. He's had an unbelievable year. And so, as I told him, no, no one game will define your season and, your, and, and, more importantly, your career here at Georgia State. Going back to your technical foul, I know yeah. you don't get technical fouls. Were yeah. you happy with the way you responded to it? Like um, yeah, that was, I, you know, it wasn't necessarily the purpose, but, you know, um, I kind of lost for about a three minute gap there. I don't, I didn't even know we were playing. I just wanted to, I just wanted to talk to him. I wanted to put my hands on him and tell him how much I love him. And, uh, he, he stayed away from me, man. I just wanted to apologize and, and say, you know, Hey, I love you. I really, really do. And, and happy Valentine's day. Um, uh, but, um, they, they're a good veteran crew and they kept him on the other side. And then I look up, we were up 19. And so then in the timeout, I said, I told you I was going to get a technical. So no. Um, I, I don't get that. And, and again, I'll say this again. I wasn't even talking to him. I was talking to one of my players. That's the frustrating. If you're going to get a technical, earn it. You know, and so my swipe was because, again, I didn't like the response that my guy said. We moved our feet and it was a bad foul. And so, again, you must have rabbit ears. You, t you know, can't be Persian. But that's, that's, that's part of it. You know, if you get one a year, that's not, you know, that's not the worst thing. That's not the worst thing. You know what? I, I, I we we needed this. Um, we practiced yesterday. I never this. I never practiced the day before the game at this later year. I, I can't think probably in 20 years if I've done that. And we got after it yesterday. Um, I wanted to send a message about this is who we are, and we were a little chippy with each other yesterday. And so you know, I, I woke up this morning thinking, man, did I, did, I, did I leave everything in yesterday's practice? But we went at it. We went at it for a while, you know. And and then I thought that, that carried over to the day. So um, sometimes you got you know you got to be able to do that. You said you guys got your defenses going in that game. Kind of how you came with the most precision. Yeah. What, what does that look like? Take the Energy, energy, playing hard, 50-50 balls, deflections. All of a sudden they look and shot clocks running down. Um, they they they're playing on their heels and they're not comfortable. 
they were very comfortable the first five minutes, and then all of a sudden, the, set, the, the the rest of the the rest of the game looked like how we played all year defensively. And again, our goal is the whole team's under forty percent shooting. We were able to do that. I think uh, Sykes had uh, he had eighteen and a half, and I don't think he scored the second half. I don't think he scored, and he was taking tough shots. That's when I know our defense was working, and guys were talking. I didn't have to call in. I didn't have to change our defenses because we were just locked in. And that's when we won 10 in a row, that's who we were. Went down to Texas State, that's who we were. When we're that way and we bring it that way, man, we, we, it, I'll take my chances next week. I'll take my chance. I feel really good about going into this tournament. There's a lot of good teams, uh, but I feel really good when you, about Georgia State. And so you want to play Georgia State, okay, we're ready. Five o'clock, we'll be ready Friday. I don't care who we play. We're going to be ready to play five o'clock on Friday. Well, we, 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 we've changed a little bit, you know. I mean, I, the opposing coach will see it anyway, so it doesn't matter. We've moved DeMarcus down to a small forward spot, and we've been playing him at the small forward and having more drivers on the floor. So Kane Williams has been playing great, handling the ball. Isaiah handling the ball. Devin. So we've been having more ball handlers on the floor than just the, the normal two, and I think that that's kind of helped us. It definitely helps DeMarcus, and it causes now forwards have to guard him. And there aren't many forwards in our league that can guard DeMarcus off the dribble. And so then when Kane gets the ball on his left hand, he's a great finisher in the paint. So we got a ton of paint touches today. Do you think you all have more, more ball getting on the floor of Bridget with only six turnovers for today? Yeah, I think that helps. You know, again, uh, DeMarcus does a lot. And sometimes when he gets tired, he turns the ball over. And so it takes it out of his hands a little bit. So um, the more ball handlers we have on the floor, the better. And so uh, we'll continue that in the tournament. So, guys, I hopefully see everyone uh, uh, next Friday. Or if not, I'll see you Sunday for the championship.